right, so, yeah. Jan? I believe so, of, yes. Hello, viewers. We're micing myself up for ABC4 weather right now. And we're going to yeah. see if this, this will fit in my car. The microphone will fit in my costume here. Yeah. So, uh, here we go. Do you want me to put a piece of tape over that core? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. This is my first experience actually talking on the news. This is going to be interesting. Is this live? Uh, yes, it's all live. Don't cuss anymore. I will not. Don't worry. Tim doesn't cuss. <laughs> you might have a problem with me, though, if I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the camera is, of course, a good friend, James Batman, Utah. Utah Batman James. Mm -hmm. the stick doesn't stick. It's a, if it's okay, well, we can... We'll just here, we'll just tuck it in. Okay. I didn't know that you were going to shell as well. I can get this by the door. I have this piece here. Hello. Okay. It's a little tight right there, but we got it. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Okay. Good. 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 Okay. You're all set then. All right. Cool. So we're doing this. This will be fun. Actually, I can't lean over and grab that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I get to help Iron Man. <laughs> Thank you. How embarrassing. Iron Man can't even lean over to grab his hand. <laughs> He's Iron Man. You know who can do that in costume? Batman. Of course. <laughs> you want me to say I don't He's know so, so you can say Batman, I don't know. Who can? <laughs> Are you going to tell me? <laughs> He's just shaking his head now. <laughs> You need to put a signal, I thought. Okay. Yeah, I think we're okay with the mic. You okay? Can you see it? Yeah, of course I can. Hold up a finger. I'll tell you how many you're holding up. Three. Oh. Just kidding. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. No, it's four. I heard five. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm ready. I'll take you to the gym. All right. Come on, James. Let's go. Gotcha. By the way, we have an iron man for weather. Yeah, just move. Five, four, three, That's right, it's that time of the day here, guys, and what no other better way to kickstart a little bit of thunderstorm activity with none other than Iron Man. Hey, listen, if you're looking to keep wet weather away and enjoying the great outdoors that the Beehive State has to offer us, why not, exactly? Exactly. Now, are you a big fan of wet weather, heat? What, what's your favorite, Iron Man? Well, I did have this one issue where I had to deal with icing. That, that, that just can't be good. No, but I got that figured out. Sweet deal. Excellent. Now, we're going to be at Comic-Con uh, this uh, week. It's a yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday affair. How many days are you going to be available? I will uh, probably be there all week, but I'll probably only be one day for a couple hours as Iron Man. Okay, sweet. Then uh, you're going to be uh, changing up into uh, what then? I've got a few other suits. I've got some uh, Halo. Um, I like to run around with some stilts. You know, just have some fun. Sweet. Hey, who doesn't? I know, right? Now, how, how tall are the stilts here? I'll be uh, about seven foot five when I'm running around in that costume. So basically, you'll come up to about here on me. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, this guy's like, you know, 10 yeah, that's like, uh, How long have you been doing this stuff? Uh, about 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. Woo! Now. If you count on being a kid, you know. Well, that, yeah, aren't we all a kid? I like. Now, if I wind up and give you my best. Go for it. Is that going to hurt? No, go for it. Have it ready? Ready? Oh, yeah, there we go. You okay? There's oh. weather to be had, guys! I'm all right! And here's what it looks like across the state. Whew, a lot of heat out there. 80s and 90s. Thank you so much, Iron Man. But we do have to pass along that there is a flood warning in effect. That's up until 6.15 this evening for the southeastern flank of Washington County, guys. So there's some heavy storms out there. Our pinpoint storm tracker Doppler radar looking down like this. Iron Man has all the goods on it now. The storm track is going to be off in a south-southeast to north-northwest fashion. So some of these storms just off to the north of Lake Powell looking awfully nasty, but also over the southern flank of Washington County. 
off to the northwest of Cedar City as well. We'll hone in on some of these storm systems as well. Coming out of the canyons just off to the north of St. George. That is a bad ride right there. Keep in mind, over the last 10 minutes, the white shaded lightning strikes are the most recent storm systems, so we are looking good there. Farther to the north, some big storms rolling over the road toward the Richfield. And there you go, Iron Man, you got it. Miller oh, yeah. County as well, and farther off to the north. Look at this cluster of rain coming up over the road uh, toward the uh, mountains of uh, the central mountains uh, over the road uh, oh, just off to the east of uh, Provo Canyon and whatnot. Uh, also over the western Uintas and over the southern flank of the Oakers. Sandwiched in between, not a whole lot happening over the Salt Lake Valley, but this is going to gradually fill in, so a couple of spots will be able to pick up some nasty downpours. The forward speed of these thunderstorms only at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, and therein lies the problem with more heavy or downpours with the thunderstorms over Elko County on the Nevada side. What else is cooking? Well, of course, it's going to be our pinpoint Radsat. Now, there's a cool front just off the Pacific Northwest coast. That's going to continue to throw moisture away from Arizona way, so there will be hit-miss storms over the next couple of days. That cool front's going to be a bit of a laggard, but in time, in afternoon into Sunday, and that means that we're going to be talking about our latest cool front coming down in. So that cool front, even though it doesn't have much in terms of getting the heat out of here, it will take us from the 90s on into the 80s. And the good news this time around for folks that own swamp coolers, Nadia, Brian, Iron Man, the humidity is coming down, so they will be able to work much, much better, but probably not until Sunday night when we finally kick the humidity to the curb. Are you okay? Did you get right here? You know what? I think I'm going to be just fine, Nadia. Okay. Thanks for caring. I, I do care. <laughs> you're you're the, you're the, you're the, you're the, you that move again? Do you mind? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. Iron Man will be back after 4.30. Right. They call Iron Man for a reason there, Jim. Absolutely. Right. Well, my knuckles <laughs> feel it. <laughs> we have all new stories coming up next on ABC4 Utah News at 4.30. The family of the Draper police officer. Hey, guys. So, it's uh, Wednesday. Literally got back from Dragon Con like yesterday. And uh, just got done doing Channel 4 News as the weather guy as Iron Man. So that was cool. And we're now at the Salt Lake City Comic Con Salt Palace. There's, say James, hey, say hi. I'm winded because I, we just ran across the street. And we're going to get our bender All passes. All I heard is I'm out of shape. <laughs> All I heard is I'm out of shape. I am out of shape. And tired. I didn't, I didn't sleep at all at Dragon Con. Everybody knows this. When you see the videos, you'll know. So, I've actually never been to the Salt Palace, and I live here. Oh, Tim. <laughs> I know, right? This place is huge. All right, guys, guess what? I've got, I've got Thursday passes. This is kind of weird. They, I guess the regular passes are just pieces of paper, They're like the sticky things so that's kind of weird for a comic con usually they always give you a badge no matter what kind of pass it is we got our vendor passes for for uh, our booth at freaking rad and these are actually really nice I wish that all the badges were like this but that's what we got some nice some nice artwork there we got four of them for the thing and right now I'm just waiting uh, Boston had some car issues sadly and which is making us more poor so you guys should donate to the Kickstarter so that we have money to make more videos. So go on Kickstarter, look up Respawn the Series, and go donate some money because it's a good series. And then after you're done doing that, go watch the first season on our channel, Frickin' Rad, because it's all up there. Anyway, the, we're waiting for him. I guess he's coming down here now that his car's kind of fixed. And we're going to just kind of wait for him. So... That weird guy over there. Look at those pink pants. Is that what color they are? Salmon. They're salmon. It's not pink, it's salmon. salmon. We're here. Hey. There's Boston. How's it going? How tired are you? I'm great. Oh, I'm just so tired. Joey! Yes, did you get my good side? Yeah, there's your good side. Yep. Right there. We missed you, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I would have come. I wish I would have come. It looked like so much fun that I probably would have died, so... You probably would have. Would have died happy. Would have died happy. <laughs> so we um, decided to that we needed uh, to get some food because... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's not waterproof. Stop it. <laughs> Joey's trying to spill water on my camera phone. I and, almost did. And, and something, an industrial hack accident happened tonight. 
And um, Boston has a new superpower. He's now invisible. He just disappears. Say hi, Boston. Hi. See? He's there, but we can't see him. We just know he's around, so we're not sure what to do about that um, and how to fix that. Whoa. Oh, whoa, he can turn it on and off. Hey, you're back. Right. Hey, that's that's even I'm better. I'm getting control of it. Yeah, that's it's even better. Okay, so uh, you may have guys... Rec- oh, he's disappeared again. Come on, Boston. Come back. <laughs> Uh, he's he's, he's gonna he's gonna have way too much fun with this. So um, what was I, I lost my train of thought here. He keeps coming the invisible and stuff. Oh yeah, we got the same booth we got last time we were here. It was yeah. just ironic. So this is now officially our booth Th- this at is, D's. This is my first time at D's. I'm a D's virgin, but uh, I'm glad that my first time is at this booth. So we're we're still trying to um, figure out what we're gonna do for our booth at Brick and Rad. Um, we wanted to do all sorts of fantastic sci-fi lights, like shows and everything going on, and and a laser light show, laser light show, and like confetti coming down every hour when someone comes by and said, "You're one you're, second customer, you're, you know? you're a fourth customer." But we realized with the budget we have, which is almost zero dollars, that may not happen. So we're gonna do something. Yeah. Guys, any ideas? No. No. Well, we're gonna have a. So we're, we're, we're doing a giveaway. a giveaway. We're giving do, we're giving away a helmet. Okay. Yeah. And um, it's a bicycle helmet. It's for a twelve year old girl. <laughs> it was on sale. So. <laughs> we went to Target and bought it. <laughs> it's got Dora on it. So. Now we're giving away a Halo helmet, and um, we need to build a pillar to put it on so that people can see what we're giving away. And it'd be nice if we could put it in like a glass box but we don't have a glass box <laughs> so you know, like with a pressure sensor in case someone tries to take it like a laser <laughs> sorry I can't tell you guys that inside joke that's just now between me Boston and Joey <laughs> anyway uh, alright alright well we're, we're gonna figure out something we'll talk to you guys later